Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Glover. I'm going to be playing levels 1, 2, and 1, 3 today. Both pretty great levels. I was right in my hypothesis that the game does indeed need a lot more intricate from here. Got some puzzles, got some hidden rooms, got some new items. I can't wait. But for now, let's just get going. A lot more garabs you'll notice. Ten more, and it seems like the number only goes up from here. Shark Guy returns. Shark Guy seems to be a staying figure in this game, which I do not have a problem with at all. <laughs> I think that guy is so funny, and I will probably keep saying that. So I have our first minor puzzle of the game right here. I got in this water pit, but I can't seem to get out. But if I break these two squares of shoddy worksmanship right here, it's no problem at all. I will say that this raising platform right here can be annoying if you don't nail it because you got to keep waiting and you're going backwards. So if you if you're not like if I had been doing this blind, that would have taken me like five times to get up there. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I I tried very hard to concentrate and do everything right on that freaking uh, raising platform because no one wants to see that, right? So. The most annoying thing about this game so far, after having played these next two levels, is definitely having to kill the enemies to get garabs. Oh yeah, another thing, you'll notice that my ball has a, uh, it got hurt, so it's got a bandage on it now. But the ball seems to be pretty tough. I think it can take like at least three hits, and then it explodes. I don't know. So above us, before I came down to this water pit right here, you might have noticed one of the infamous ramp sections that everyone seems to be talking about but it's not that bad yet I'm, I'm assuming it'll get way worse I was actually pretty proud hey get hey you shark guy what come on oh do you see that I lost my ball because of that oh that's lame I don't even know I'm just you know what shark guy it's cool and all but seriously you're gonna just have to you're just gonna have to get owned by the bowling ball I got places to be so why was I over here like I said, I was pretty proud to find this area all on my own and pretty fast. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. However, I did just notice that there was a hidden extra life down there through the clipping that I didn't notice before. Anyways, trying out the uh, crystal ball because people were telling me that it gives times two points, and it turns out it does. See the little times two that shows up under the point value? Yeah, pretty nice. So I might have missed the extra life, but I don't care because I'm just going for the Garabs. And I mean, for real, I have nine extra lives still. I might regret that later, but for now it's okay. One thing about Glover seems to be that it's, it's time-based and they want you to go fast. And I'm not going to go pretty fast, but first I want to talk about this Glover's, <laughs> Glover's face animation. He just looks like he's he's trying to keep a good attitude about things, you know. You can tell he has fun when he's when he's walking around on the ball. But other than that, he seems like a good-natured guy that that knows he's here to, to do business. You know, he's got to get these care of things. He's got to roll the ball into the into the little green holographic portal thing. You know, but he's trying to keep a good attitude about it all. Glover's a pretty cool guy. So this is actually my first take of recording these things, of these two levels, and I'm pretty proud of myself for not falling off right there. <laughs> Here though, I'm definitely not taking the best path I could. I probably should have gotten these garabs earlier, because now I have to go and jump up this, this dang uh, platform again. But like I said, I'm trying my hardest not to mess it up, because it does take a while to wait for it to come back. <laughs> so yeah, and here we are again. But hey, Glover's like, it's alright man, at least I got to walk on this ball a little bit. I like that. I do too, Glover. So here we got a nice little zigzag of Garabs. I actually kind of like that. You know what? Because it's, it's just fun rolling the ball around, man. I said I didn't care about points, but it's fun to get... It's fun to get points still. I don't know, it's just... It's just cool to, to know that you're doing... Doing things that they reward you for going fast, I guess. It's fun to be, I like, I like it in games when you get rewarded for going fast. 
but like I said, these pigs, you know, these freaking purple guys I gotta, I gotta fist stomp on, not my favorite thing to do. Kind of ruins the flow of the game. I try to, I try to get them on the first try every time, but sometimes I just, I just miss, man. I mean, you know, it's hard to 100% that. So here I'm thinking that I messed up for a second. I'm like, oh, I should have changed my ball first. And I'm like, oh gosh, what do I do now? But I'm really just being, being forgetful because I should, I should just keep going, man. I should just keep going. Everything will be okay. There's a switch over here for me. I don't even need the ball for it. I haven't pointed it out yet specifically, but you probably noticed that these switches you don't need balls for. You just fist pound them. And there goes the water. This opens up our exit point, and it's looking pretty good. Feeling pretty good about this run so far. Not too many mishaps. Another save point. That's fine, I guess. I actually will be using that, so yeah, it's pretty. I'm pretty happy it's there. I have a feeling I know exactly why they put it there too, and it's not for the first death that I'm going to have. <laughs> But the first death that's coming up is pretty funny though. I hope you guys like it. It's a pretty WTF moment. Oh yeah, but we are going to be getting a new item coming up. If you if you go back and watch the original video, this potion over here you'll, you'll notice is one of the potions that the wizard threw into his brew before he blew himself up. So I don't know about this, but I guess I need it for some reason. I mean, why else would it be here? Anyway, as you'll notice, Clever got a lot bigger there. And watch this, BS. Watch this right here. I gotta push this wall because you see the arrows on top. But where'd, where'd my ball go? It fell down the crack? Are you kidding me? That ball is at least like three times as big as the crack. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever, man. Ah, oh, jeez. I'll leave the ball on top this time. Get a kind of a cool animation when he's not with the ball. I was actually pretty proud of myself for figuring out that with these arrows you're supposed to push this over. Even though it's probably pretty obvious to most people, but whatever. Anyways. So yeah, that's done. And there's still seven Garibs left, as you can see. Still seven left, and they're up there, trying to get a better view of them. And I don't know how they expect you to get these up there, but I eventually found a way to just freaking brute force it, kind of like I did in the first level. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I got a got to hop up this wall right here and I promise I promise it doesn't take me that long okay I mess up right there but uh, you know it's just it just happens it just happens you know Glover Glover stops for no man no ball but he will stop for Garibs he's gotta he's gotta get those and you might be wondering I ha I did decide that I'm going to indeed get all of the Garobs. Hey, there we go. See, it only took me two tries. Pretty good. Come up here, get these. Feeling pretty good about this run so far. Yeah. Gives the OK sign or another sign, depending on where you're from. I guess I don't know. But there is a, there is something you get for collecting all the Garobs in a world. Actually, you get a bonus stage, and I'm just going to tell you right now, the bonus stage is pretty cool. I haven't yes. beaten it yet, or even gotten very far at all in it, but I really like it. So now, made sure that I was on I was on point for the Glover dance that time. Yeah. First thing I want to say right here. Does this music remind me anyone of a song? This starting music? You know, that song that's like dun 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 Slam dun 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 Yeah. That song. Have you guys heard that song before? I don't know. It was in it was in a NBA live game one one year, so that's why I know it. But uh yeah. That's all I can ever think of when I hear that song there. So here we are in World 1-3, a little bit, little bit more involved, not necessarily harder. We actually get another new potion in this, in this world, uh, and it's also another one that the wizard threw into his brew. I guess the problem was mixing them together. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So anyways, rolling around on this ball. The thing about this world is that it's just so huge. I try to cut backtracking to a minimum, but it's hard to avoid some of it. But trust me, I've, I've, uh, I'm trying to take the best pass possible. 
I haven't mentioned this last part about the controls, but if you press the Z button while you're either holding the ball or standing on the ball, you just kind of hop off, and it's very handy. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the end of the controls. You also use Z to cartwheel when you're not on the ball. And I guess that does have a, a feature, as people are pointing out in the thread. I've really taken a bouncing, uh, liking, a like, yes, a liking to bouncing by this time, so I'm definitely going to be bouncing a lot in this, in this stage. <laughs> it's just fun. It's just fun to bounce. It's part of the game, and it's just fun. It's like bouncing a basketball or a tennis ball, you know, you're holding a tennis ball. If someone just gives you a tennis ball and they say, like, hold on to this for 10 minutes, you're going to bounce it once or twice. It's just going to happen. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? It's like, well, I got this ball here, you know. Why, why just hold it? I can practice my bouncing skills. <laughs> there I go. Bouncing along. I've, I've decided to justify it by the fact that I think it makes you go just a little bit faster. And, uh, and yeah, it's just fun. Still, it just is. So there's actually a one-up up this ramp right here. I decided not to get it because in the interest of time, it would just take way too long. Because I... I could easily fall back down, down here, and have to come all the way back up again. Not looking to do that. Not trying to waste any more time, you know. These worlds are actually pretty, pretty big and involved, and I really like that. I said it in the thread, but I feel like the Garabs are the perfect uh, vehicle for making you explore the entire world, because you do, but you don't have to backtrack, or at least minimal backtracking is involved to get all of them. At least so far. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. But they, they, but you still have to explore the entire world, you know. Make sure you got them all, you know. Explore all the nooks and crannies, all that. Another safe point up here. So we got this big green gear right in front of us, if you can't tell what it is. It's a gear. You can kind of see it right there a little bit better. So our next mission is to get this gear moving so we can... See, there's that one up I was talking about. Gotta get this gear moving. I guess we'll follow this arrow over here. See where it takes us. And this is where we're going to. Well, first I gotta. Unfortunately, I gotta destroy all these all these guys. Get their garabs. Freaking bowling ball does not work. Are you kidding me? I follow my follow my ball to my doom. I can't believe that bowling ball doesn't kill those guys. Are you kidding me? It's a bowling ball. I need like a spiked ball, or like a ball made out of fire. Yeah. That would be awesome. I would love to have one of those. But I guess all I got is like my fist pound. If someone if someone smacked you with their fist or threw a bowling ball at you, what do you think would hurt more? I think the bowling ball. Like, like if you had like Magnus shot put a bowling ball at your face, that would hurt a lot, man, I think. I don't know. So yeah, trying to minimize the time it takes me to kill those guys, but sometimes I gotta miss. So here we get our next potion though, the speed potion. This potion's awesome because if there's one thing I love in video games, it's going fast. But the thing about it is that they didn't necessarily spend the, the most time. And this is why you need it to get past this current right here. But the thing is, they didn't necessarily spend the most time in the world programming this potion to make sure you, you don't lose the ball. You definitely lose some control of the ball if you start going too crazy. I'm also pretty proud of myself for not falling off right there. Yes, oh, just barely. I swear I was over complete air right there, but everything worked out. So, it's all going good. Get some some get some cool bouncing physics with this speed potion. Yeah, I'm loving this speed potion. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. I like it a lot. So, making our way back. You guys might notice there's an odd bounce physics in the water. Usually on land, he'll pick up the ball and then he'll bounce. Oh, where are you going, ball? Yeah, usually on water, he'll pick up the ball and then bounce it. But in water, he just kind of bounces it super high immediately. So here, I'm trying to demonstrate how I couldn't have gotten past here without the speed potion. But then I kind of screw myself because I can't really get the ball out because I lost all my momentum. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have... Should have, uh... Yeah, I should have thought that went through a little better. Come on, Glover, you can do it, buddy. Thankfully, I can grab the ball right there. Or else I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have had the reset button. So now we got our big gear or windmill thing or whatever it is. 
spinning, looking pretty good, feeling pretty good. Hop up in this tube right here. Like I said, not too challenging yet, and that's pretty, that pretty much seems to be the synopsis in the thread that uh, things don't get too hard until World World 2, or especially until World 3. So, you know, I'm counting my blessings for now. Gotta kill some more of these poor purple guys. Who are they even really bothering? They're clearly wound up because they have a wind-up thing on the back, so I mean... It's not even their fault, I mean... I don't know. I could probably just wait for them to run out of... of wind-up powerness. The Bernoulli effect is what they call it. No, that's an airplane thing. Uh, never mind. <laughs> but, um, so... Anyways, moving on. Getting some Garabs. And here, check this out. Finally, we're going to get to use one of our other ball iterations. I guess it's the final one, because... Uh, I did use the crystal ball earlier. Thanks to the, thanks to the person in the thread that alerted me that I could use the metal ball bearing to move faster underwater to maximize my underwater uh, time. Pretty handy. I like the ball bearing. It's a cool ball. It makes a cool sound. I don't know. Cool ball. It's got a, it's got a neat design on it if you pay attention. Just give it a, give it a few bounces. Is that, I, I consider that like petting, petting the ball, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. It's a good ball. It's a good ball. So, let's continue on. The thing about controlling the ball that makes it so cool is even like the most mundane things are just neat. Like you gotta hop down these stairs, it's still fun. That that iron whale you might have saw in the background over there is our is our ultimate exit destination. But first we got some more garabs to get. Again, like I said, this is my first run. Pretty proud of myself for not falling off like a scrub right there. <laughs> Nor on the way back, spoiler alert. Hey. hey. But we're going to get introduced to some new mechanics right right now. Pretty neat. Getting introduced to a lot in these first uh, two levels, or three levels, I guess. Let's go over there to make sure I didn't miss anything. I knew there was nothing over there. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, I'm excited to see if they continue this pace of introducing new mechanics, or if they're just going to keep using these mechanics in new and interesting ways. But this one we're going to have right here is pretty cool. I like it a lot. This is a kind of like a, a black hole portal. Kind of reminds me of like the portal in Illusion of Gaia, kind of, sort of. But first, oh, secret. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, secret back here. Yes, another one up, up to 12 so far. I love it. Now you can't take the ball through those black portals, so I'm guessing these are going to be filled with Glover-only mechanics. So I look forward to that because Glover's a pretty cool guy. This switch you can actually hit twice. And you might not have, I don't know, it's a, uh, just hit it twice. See what happens if you hit it a third time. Let's go over here, see what's up. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that at all. So here we get introduced to another potion. This one I think was just sitting on the, sitting on the shelf in the wizard's uh, area. So you might notice there's some garabs on the ceiling there. You might notice that Glover's, uh, two middle fingers changed. So, what can you do? Well, you can walk up these walls with it. And I might, I might look like I'm retarded controlling Glover right here. It's because the controls are a little bit awkward. Until you, until you think about it in the grand scheme of things. The, the reason it's awkward is because up and down are reversed, but left and right stay the same. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like using, of like getting that mushroom over your head in Earthbound, you know? <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of that. But uh, anyways, eventually I figure it out. Um, you just gotta, you just gotta think about it, man, I don't know. It's, it's odd, it's odd to say the least. But it's all good, got all the garabs in this room. Definitely paranoid about collecting all the garabs, so I think I'm gonna check on the ceiling like a nice twice or thrice over. Make sure I got them all. Or maybe I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Because, I mean, you gotta... I would hate to get to the end and only have, like, 79, you know. Just, uh, one. But, I digress. So, time to get out of here. There I was showing that you can't take the ball into the into the black portal. But it's alright. Don't need it. 
It's cool. It can keep itself company. So, for the first time in a while, I have to utilize the bounce and throw mechanic. That's nice. I'm glad they didn't forget about that. Kind of a neat thing. So, only 8 Garibs left, coming in on the final home stretch of the level. Final challenge is this jump once more. Nail it. Yeah! This shark guy's just, you know, putzing around. Doesn't have very good aim. Kind of a. I wonder if that hurts. I wonder if he cares if it hurts. He probably doesn't. Hey. I'm like, whatever. Just get away from this guy. Yeah, get some. Get some, you shark. He looks kind of like a can opener, doesn't he? If he ever went straight, I think that's probably what he could do. For a living. So, I, I, in hindsight, I feel like I should have busted out the crystal ball right here and get mad points. But I didn't. Oh, well. And that's all the Garibs. When you're holding on the ball, Glover doesn't give you the OK sign. Oh well. I know I got him. Plays a nice little tune. Bouncing around in victory. Some victory bounces. I love it. Come over to this whale right here. And just get right inside. Not entirely sure why they tried to, or why they did it like that, but I mean, you know, I'm all for variety. A whale attached to a balloon? Sure, why not? Why not? I love it. Yeah, think about that song and what I said earlier. Totally makes sense, right? Whatever. So, this is the end of the World 1 regular stages. And now we get introduced to the boss. Boss is pretty hardcore. Here's Cross Stitch coming through, making his, making his fat, ugly face known. Seems he's going to be the... Be the freaking bane of our existence for for all the worlds to come. That's a crazy looking boss right there. Like a triple boss. But anyways, yeah, it looks pretty menacing. But that's where we'll start next time. Fight the boss, then do the bonus level. So I hope you guys like it. This has been Let's Play Clever. I'll see you guys later.